Hi there, I'm Miriam and welcome to Miriam's Manor. So today's video is another tutorial on how to make a display base for your Christmas village. Now this one is a little bit different because most of the videos that I bring to you guys, I am showing you how to add rock formations to your display bases by using either scrap pieces of styrofoam or paper. But today I'm going to be carving into this styrofoam. So I wanted to show you guys quickly how I do that. And this is going to drastically cut down your prep time and your build time. So the total time that I spent on this project was about four hours, but most of that was spent by waiting on the glue to dry as well as the paint to dry between layers. Um, my actual work time was about 30 to 40 minutes on this. So this is a really simple, quick and easy platform to put together and add beauty to your Christmas village. So the tools that I am using for this project are from Hotwire Foam Factory. And if you are interested in purchasing any of those, you can contact my rep. They are um, Pat and John. They have been using Hot Wire Foam Factory tools for decades and also selling it for several years now. And they're extremely knowledgeable on all the products. And if you reach out to them, they will definitely take care of you. So check this video out and let me know what you think. To start, I have already glued two pieces of styrofoam together. This space will be 35 inches long by 15 inches deep and three inches high. So first I'm going to use my Hotwire Foam Factory router to create the stairs in the middle of this platform. This wire is bendable and will keep the shape that you bend it to while you're carving. So I have bent this wire the width of my stairs that I've marked out on my platform with a green Sharpie marker. I am plugging this adapter into the Pro Tool side of my power supply box. And the neat thing about this box is it won't let you plug it into the wrong side. The adapter only fits in the right receiver. So I uh, have turned the white dial over to increase the heat. I also am pushing the little toggle switch in the middle to the right towards the Pro Tool side. And I am ready to create my stairs. So I will place my router towards the back line of the staircase that I have drawn out here. And I am just going to insert it and make small little L-shaped lines into the foam until I reach the front. Now, this is the first time that I am working with this tool and you guys, I absolutely love it. I am not applying any pressure at all and this is cutting through this foam like butter. Now I will use my sculpting tool from Hotwire Foam Factory to carve the rock formations into the styrofoam. This tool has a small power supply that plugs directly into the wall. I have had this tool for years and it is very easy to use. I adjust the wire by bending the arms either wider or more narrow while I am cutting to give myself either wider or thinner crevices or larger or smaller rocks. So this part of carving is personal preference and how you would like your finished product to look um, and your rock formations to turn mm -hmm. out. I like a variety of different shapes. So you will notice while I am carving into this foam that I am adjusting the arms of this while I am going and I don't have to switch hands or stop or anything. I am simply widening and narrowing as I am going. Also, here's my safety disclaimer again, you guys, when you are working with styrofoam in any type of capacity, make sure that you are working in a well-ventilated area and wear a mask so that you do not ingest the fumes or the little particles of the foam that um, can fly off into the air while you are working with the styrofoam. I've carved out the front and sides of my platform, so now I am ready for paint. As always, I am starting with my black wash and I'm using about a 70 to 30 ratio. 70% paint and about 30% water. I will mix this well and apply the paint to the entire surface of the platform.
My black wash is dry, so I am taking the existing leftover black paint and adding some white paint to it to create my first layer of dark gray paint. I have mixed this well, and now I have wet just the tip of my brush, and I am lightly brushing over the surface of the rocks. So I will not be adding ground cover to the top of this base. So I want to give the top of this like a concrete finish. So to do that, I'm going to take the tip of my brush and dab it on the top of the surface. Um, make sure you scrape off any excess paint from the brush when you are doing this. You should only have a minimal amount of paint in the brush when you're dabbing it so you don't end up with large blotches of paint on your top surface. Now it's time to add the second layer of gray paint. I am taking the existing leftover gray from the first layer and just adding more white to it. I'm going to mix this up thoroughly and apply it in the exact same manner. So I wanted to show you guys what it looks like when you're dabbing with a little bit too much paint on your brush. You can see in this area here and here there are a few globs of paint and you can see the difference on the right side how the grays are blending together a little bit better than on the left. So what I'm going to do to fix it is mix a little bit of darker gray paint and lightly dab over the globby surfaces to blend it a little bit better and make it look more like the right side. So I have fixed those few little patches and this is how it has turned out. Now I am taking a cap full of white paint and a fine paintbrush and I'm going to highlight the edges of my rocks to make it look like fallen snow. I am sporadically placing this on different rocks to my preference. So this is the final result and how it all turned out. I love it and I know my carnival pieces will look great on this. With the right tools, this is a quick and easy platform for anyone to create. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget, I'd really appreciate it. Also subscribe to the channel and click on that notification bell. Um, keep in mind for those of you who have asked me when the next live stream is going to be, I don't yet have it scheduled for December, but if you click on that notification bell, that little bell icon, you'll automatically be notified as soon as I post the link for our next live stream. And I do try to post those links at least one week before we are going to go live. So I hope that helps. Also, I am just inches away, you guys, from completing my carnival for my village this year. So I will be releasing part five of my Christmas village setup probably within the next day or two. And don't forget that all entries are due by December 1st for the Christmas village contest for 2021. So if you guys have any questions for me in the meantime, definitely leave me a line in the comment section and I will get back with you. And until I see you again, stay safe. God bless you and I hope to see you soon. Bye.